So let's just have a look at a neuron here and have a look at how the nerve impulse travels along the axon. And what we have is we have um, some particular protein channels, some iron pumps here, that are continually pumping sodium ions to one side. And it's these sodi sodium ions that are creating um, a state where there's a, a relatively positive charge on the outside compared to the inside. Now, when the, the, the cell membrane is stimulated, it's these sodium ions that travel back inside the cell. And when they, when they travel back inside the cell, they create lots of positive charges on the inside. And so we end up, when, it, when, it's, when this impulse comes through, with a, a completely opposite situation. Lots of positive charges on the inside and lots of negative on the inside. And that's the nerve impulse. And what that does in turn is it stimulates the next section of, in, uh, of the membrane to do the same. Okay, let's have a look at the cell membrane in a bit more detail and have a look at the, the pr protein channels that are involved. First off, we have a sodium-potassium pump, and that's continually working to pump the, the sodi sodium to the outside to create this, this positive environment outside and compared to the internal environment. And it's also involved in pumping potassium in. Now, the next protein channel we have involved is this sodium pump and that works when it receives an electrical stimulation a, a difference in, in, in charge and it opens up and all these sodium ions that have been built up on the outside come flooding in um, and, and really setting up a, a, a depolarized state so it's no longer charged. The next protein channel involved here is the potassium channel and that potassium channel that'll open once we reach the depolarized state and the potassium which has been continually pumped to the inside by the, the, the iron pump over here, the potassium will flow back outside and help restore that depolarized state, that polarized state, sorry, um, with, with more positive charges. And it'll, it'll do that quite quickly uh, because all, there's a big difference in potassium. There's lots of potassium on the inside and little on the outside. It'll do it quite quickly to create that, um, that, that balance of ions um, until the, the sodium ion pump has time to restore things to the original balance. So having a look at this in a, you know, along our axon, let's have a look at how the impulse travels down. The membrane's set up with lots of sodium ions on the outside and lots of potassium ions on the inside and a more positive charge on the outside compared to the inside of the membrane. And that's set up by the pot sodium potassium ion gate. Now, when the sodium channels receive stimulation by electrical impulse, uh, what happens is the sodium moves in and that creates that, that, that impulse, that difference in charge. And that impulse will then stimulate the next section of membrane and then the next section of membrane, stimulating sodium channels along the membrane. So what happens after the membrane's de been depolarized is the potassium uh, channel will open, allowing the potassium ions to flood on the outside, creating this difference in charge again. Um, and gradually what will happen is the sodium-potassium channel will set up this state again with sodium on the outside and potassium um, on, on the inside um, and return it um, through its resting potential to a state where it can be charged again and, and be stimulated again. Okay, good luck with nerve impulses. The next thing to look at is probably having a look at the action potential graphs. Good luck.